with the release of ChatGPT and other natural language processing models, the whole tech world turned its eyes to it. More and more activities and processes we didn't consider to be even partially automated just a couple of months ago can now easily be made or at least accelerated with generative AI. Today we'll review its impact on education and learning and what has changed since its inception. ChatGPT could be helpful and problematic when it comes to education, and it mostly depends on how we implement it. Turin College has explored how technology contributes to and interacts with learning for years. Some of the benefits technology brought to education and learning have been the democratization of information and the possibility of studying online. But these are just the beginning of a considerable list of current benefits. You can also find some related to AI, such as AI-powered automation for paperwork, reports, and organizing lectures, helping teachers optimize time and be more present to their students while avoiding burnout, or AI-powered interactive simulations that enable students to put into practice their learnings and soft skills with virtual objects. And now that the general public can also access generative AI tools such as ChatGPT, its implementation is inevitable. Instead of stopping change, we need to understand and learn from it to be able to make the most out of it. But before heading straight into the pros and cons of ChatGPT in learning, it's essential to establish what is ChatGPT? ChatGPT is an AI-powered chatbot released by OpenAI in November last year. It's a natural language processing model, or NLP for short, that responds to any request you give thanks to a neural network architecture, which reflects the human brain's behavior in pattern recognition and problem solving. In short, you give it a prompt, for example, a question or the beginning of a conversation, and ChatGPT will predict the most probable and natural answer for it and give it to you based on the vast database it currently has and the training and feedback it has received to give you a plausible answer. So basically, it finds patterns in its database to answer Polo if you write Marco. In just a year, we've been able to see it grow and evolve into providing greater and deeper answers. And according to G. Drew Sebraskas, Turin College Head of Education, the breakneck pace at which generative AI is improving will make us feel in a whole different level with each new version released. With its development, there are a lot of possibilities for using ChatGPT in learning. Let's go through some of them. Fully personalized education. For years, Benjamin Bloom's techniques of mastering learning and one-on-one -on -one tutoring have proved to have excellent results when applied. Unfortunately, the standard education system leaves little room to use it. The idea is to let the student become a master of the current topic they're learning about before moving into a more advanced one. If the student struggles with a specific part of the topic, the one-on-one -on -one tutoring will help them work on that weakness with tools designed especially for their skills and ways they found helpful to learn. As one can assume, implementing this technique means extra hours of labor for teachers. As the system currently works, it is not possible for them to assess their students individually while still responding to the rest of their responsibilities as teachers. And even if they could, making teachers work extra without extended compensation doesn't sound fair either. With ChatGPT, the student can access this assessment from a tutoring tool that can adapt to their necessities and help them with any weakness they may present in the topic. Targeted and tailored feedback. Following that same path, ChatGPT can identify learning gaps in students that may go unnoticed otherwise. These reports on students' learning can be passed to their teachers so they know what knowledge they have to reinforce and work with each student while avoiding overwork, and even use ChatGPT to explain, share helpful sources, and more. Writing assistance. With ChatGPT, students can brainstorm and even make a first draft to train their critical thinking by perfecting it. Finally, it can help as a grammar, clarity, and conciseness assistant. Foreign language learning. ChatGPT works as a translator and can even help explain grammar, slang, vocabulary, and pronunciation and rewrite the text in a simpler version of the language to be learned. Streamlined research and review. ChatGPT has 570 gigabytes of text data 
and has been trained in 175 billion parameters for GPT-3 and over a trillion for GPT-4. As it broadens and updates its database, it will be able to summarize and condense more and more academic texts with more precision as time passes. And it can also be used to help explain a complex topic to someone that is not familiar at all with it and make it as easy to understand as possible. Despite all the benefits ChatGPT and AI can represent to education, there are still some downsides and potential problems to consider. Some eyebrows are raised about possible issues that could come with its features. Some of the concerns and questions that appeared with the chatbot's release are Will ChatGPT provide false, dangerous, or biased information? Unfortunately, the current answer to this is positive. There are still a lot of processes and regulations to guarantee that ChatGPT will not be providing this type of information. This tends to happen to what is called hallucinations and the bias on the information it has been trained with, which despite being very wide, doesn't necessarily mean equally diverse. Will it distort public discourse? Since ChatGPT's access to information is still limited and flawed, and it is freely accessible to everyone, it has the potential to distort public discourse. It may generate partisan and biased comments that can be shared and reach any type of people potentially harming democratic practices. It could even make it difficult to differentiate a human comment and an algorithmic one. Regarding education, this can be dangerous for people who study careers with debatable topics and are highly dependent on social research, since the sources the AI uses to generate its response are unclear. Will it facilitate cheating or inhibit the development of key skills? This is one of the less new problems education faces with technology and the internet introduced to the general public. Despite ChatGPT being able to create essays and answer exams with such accuracy that it can give students good grades, it could already happen with other tools before ChatGPT. Additionally, ChatGPT's text still needs human editing to reach top quality. It often includes non-existent quotations, false statements, and irrelevant references that can make no sense to humans. Its true impact is hard to predict. If used well, this can even be an opportunity for students to work on their critical thinking and fact-checking abilities, both crucial skills in the current world. But there are also chances of making them miss out on skills that can only be developed by going through the whole process of creating an argumentative text in the case of essays. To reduce the risk of students presenting AI-generated text as their own, there are now tools to detect them. What about social isolation and homogenized learning? If we leave the education role solely to ChatGPT and technology in general, it could vastly affect the social component of education, which is crucial to develop social and thinking skills. It can also harm the personalized feedback only a human could give the students they know. Human reasoning has a highly social nature, and without that social interaction being prioritized, it can narrow learners' critical thinking. Additionally, leaving education unsupervised to never quite fully reliable algorithms doesn't sound like the most fantastic idea either. Without personalized human feedback, it is easy for students to fall into a one-size-fits-all approach to learning, again threatening their thinking. Despite all the possible but not desirable scenarios we've portrayed, there has been some thinking about how to deal with them. This video has mainly been based on our guidebook called How is ChatGPT impacting education and learning? which you can easily find on our website, displaying a resources tab in our website. You will also find the link in the description in case you want to read further on this topic. If there is something undeniable, it is that we can't portray AI and technology as a problem for our jobs but rather as a way of automating processes that can free up time for us to take care of more demanding tasks. Lucas Kaminsky, one of our co-founders, stated, In a rapidly changing world, it's important to have a range of skills and abilities that you can draw on in different situations. As technology changes how we learn and pushes our education system to evolve, there is a high chance that the meaning of a teacher will change in the foreseeable years. 
we are all called to be lifelong learners and implement each new tool that can help us progress as a society. Again, if you'd like to dive deeper into the impact of ChatGPT and other NLPs in education, you can check our guidebook on our website or in the link in the description. Remember to click the like button if you found this video interesting. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one.